Welcome back to Storage Chasers. Yes, we are storage unit buyers and resellers, and uh, we are about to go on another adventure. So stay tuned. All right, we are at it Monday morning, doing some searching for some units that we can buy. We actually already won one. And we have this one here that uh, looks like we're about to win as well. For $10. $10. It's got a hospital bed in it. A newer style hospital bed. I'm sure we can sell that for more than $10. So that'll be a plus. Plus we have to go pick it up. <laughs> uh, Let's uh, wait for the few seconds left to see what, what's ticking. What's ticking, what's ticking, and the final high bid. And yes, we have won it. You see it right there. And when we get there, hopefully they don't turn on us. But uh, yeah, that'll be a good win. We also have uh, some other ones that we're looking at here. We're on uh, storagetreasures.com, just for anybody who wants to know. We do have a couple other ones that we were bidding on. Uh, for mis miscellaneous types of items that uh, we saw in the units. Uh, we try to keep the lower end. You can see some people are at $120 for big ones. This is a 10 by 25. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Uh, a little one here. It's minimum of $10. Nobody's bid on it yet. Uh, this one here has got a lot of good stuff in there for $230. It'll probably go up to about six or $700 for this one. Just because of the size that it is. Uh, this one's pretty empty, but it's got some tools and stuff, so 60 bucks. That's a decent. This has a lot of workout and exercise equipment. That's why this one's up to $1,000. $1,000. But you can see, this is like a gym that closed down. It's got ellipticals. It's got a weight bench. It's got some uh, something new in the box over here. Uh, possibly treadmills or other stuff. I don't know, but there's a lot of screens of stuff in here, so I'm seeing... At least three, four elliptical or bicycles, then uh, two ellipticals and the weight bench and a tow bar. <laughs> Maybe another elliptical back here. There's a lot of stuff in this one. So $1,000 is probably a steal for that one too. But uh, let's clear through here and let's go and check out the one that we won. So this is the one that we won with the hospital bed. And that was number one. And we won this one at the same facility for $30. Let's check this one out. It has a bed and frame and a little nightstand, TV stand. We've sold these TV stands before, so that should be good. Just a couple of totes, not a whole bunch of clothes and excess extra stuff. So that'll be good. Uh, but we won this one. We get out of these ugly pictures of that. And uh, those two are at the same facility, so that'll be easier in one direction. That's in Columbia. Then we won this one. This is in the opposite direction. But this one looks really good, too, for the price we paid for it. Uh, it's got two window unit ACs. It's got a fryer here. It's got a microwave here. It's got this nice little uh, uh, kind of wicker basket drawer thingy here it does have a, a mattress if the mattress is in good shape we can actually sell these too so we don't have a problem with those but uh yeah we've got a few uh, interesting items to go through like i said we've got uh three cool little uh, treasure chests that'll be good we got three units so far that we've won and uh, we haven't been buying units uh too often but you can see here we've got 90 30 10 so only a hundred thirty dollars in and uh, we're looking at for the hundred and ten dollar investment uh just from what we see we're looking at you know five six hundred dollars so that's not bad you know it's for us but like i said we are still looking at uh, some more units that are closing soon and uh, then we're going to have to be getting on the road to go pick up something somewhere because uh the stuff ain't going to sit there forever. Uh, we were looking at this one here. It's at 50 bucks right now. Uh, the, this one does have two more window AC units, but it has a whole bunch of uh, 
other stuff that other people look for. Uh, I think this is a tent here. Some Christmas decorations, not so much, but uh, here's a part of a barbecue. And you can see it's just got miscellaneous stuff all through here. Some mattresses and stuff. So it's been gone through and they just kind of left certain stuff behind. Uh, don't know if it's worth, you know, the kind of money that they're probably going to get for it. But you can see mattresses here, mattresses over here too. And then way back in the back, you can see it, tires. Tires are never a good thing. We have them and we try to sell them and yeah, we, we don't do so good on tires. But... Everything else, not looking too bad there for 50 bucks. It's reasonable, but we still got four hours to go. So we are actually going to get on the road and go pick up some, and we will see you when we get there. Welcome to Storage Chasers. We are about to head out on the road. As you've probably seen by the beginning of this video, we were looking at some units today, and we actually won three of them. Uh, one's down south, and the other... Are kind of to the west of us <laughs> so we're going to pick the other two up tomorrow but we're going to head out to get one today but no we are not going to use the trailer today we are going to fit it all in the truck so that should be a joy but we're going to head out on the road right now so stay tuned we'll see you when we get there we've made it to our location we won this one on storagetreasures.com this is at a life storage facility here in somerville so this is a uh, about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minute drive uh, towards the ocean for us. I think we're about 20 minutes from the ocean actually uh, for this one. We picked this one up for uh, $90 after all applicable fees and what we've already paid. We came up to uh, $89.10 for this one. It's just a 10 by five, but we bought it for a couple of reasons. And we'll get into the pictures here. Uh, yeah, that's all the good stuff that we saw in there. Not super big, like I said, not super big. But uh, next picture set, one-handed, one-handed, I know. And uh, yeah, that's the main reason right there. We got uh, the couple of window unit ACs. Everything else, we don't know. It's all going to be a surprise for us. But uh, when you get over here, oh, we actually have a cart. That'll be helpful because we're going to need that. So anyway, this is the, uh, the pictures that we're going off of. So picture, 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 and live and in color. So, yep, there's our two window unit ACs. We got a nice little um, fry daddy thingy there. Got a little chest, got a mattress. We'll see if we can sell that. Took a backpack, a tote, some drawers, microwave, a little uh, weed whacker looking thing. Looks like a little bit of household, some kids toys and some wrapping paper. So we're gonna get all this out of here and load it up into our truck so that we can get our deposit back and get back on the road. We will see you as soon as it is emptied out. All right, unit 4019 cleaned out. Wall to wall to wall to door, boom. Woo, that's a fast little 15 or 20 minute unit inside. Got a nice cool fan blowing at us. They had carts available for us to use. That's always a plus always a plus so now we're gonna whew, go back to the office and uh, we will get our deposit back head back on our road home so you can see we got everything in the in the back of the truck here covered with the mattress and uh, along with uh, the back seat here is filled up with some stuff uh, back seats filled up with the stuff we're gonna go through but uh, yeah we will see you when we get back to our home base operations Welcome back to our home base of operations. We have gotten the stuff unloaded from uh, this unit. We're going to go through it. I uh, might have to make two videos out of it. We'll see how fast I can get through the stuff. But we will see. All right. First item up. And it will be up soon. Will be this uh, Fry Daddy kind of deep fryer thingy mahuji. All right. Needs to be... Uh, Sent to the spa for a little bit of a cleaning and a little TLC, but it's got the plug. Hopefully it'll work. That's a plus. It's a, what is it? Paperware. I uh, don't know if that's a good brand of that or not. So, yeah. Uh, next is this cool box. It had a lock on it, but, uh, you know, we had to open it. So, yeah. We love the little treasure chest. It had ants going in it, too. Hmm, that's not a good thing. What do we got? What do we got? We got uh, 
drinking cards and uh, we've got some more cups yeah just a bunch of shot glasses it looks like and uh oops, can cover that one up that's uh that's one of them uh unique there ones okay uh there's a coin in the bottom of this one oop there was a coin in the bottom of that one it's got dolphins on it and uh yeah it's jose Cuervé Cuervé something I love weird coins. Weird coins is always cool. I will put that over here. Check through it. Um, but everything else in here, glass. Hey, Jack's birthday. I missed Jack's birthday. And, uh, here's a little Coca-Cola thing. And there's some uh, more shot glasses. And oh, look, more shot glasses. And um, not sure what's in there. Feels like dice. It might be those uh, ice cubes, your freezer ice cube things. I don't know. It's kind of a cool little shot glass. Huh. Interesting. There's a weirder shot glass. It's the mixture stuff. Okay. Huh. Cool glass. Get a little detail on there. That is plastic. That's good. Oh. Uh, Dartmouth. So apparently... If you go to that college, you need more alcohol, so it will double the strength. And there's Dartmouth again. And, uh, so, never drink alone. Always have a buddy. And, uh, yeah. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Burt's something? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway. There's a cocktail book and that and this. And, yeah. Her and... Anyway, that's, uh... I like the interesting box. I do. <laughs> That's going to waste too much time. Okay, anyway, next is uh, this box. Uh, this box. This bag here. Uh, this is a Beliza bag. Checked all the outside pouches. So all that's left is the inside center pouch. And let's check it out. And maybe not. All right, we got a, we got a blankie and uh, some sheets. I don't know. And some sheets. Oh, there's some other stuff. Cool. There's a box. Mystery box number one. Oh, mystery box number two. Woo! Um, there's a... Alright, there's a... Yeah. There's one of them. I think it's uh, exercise bands. Yeah, I think these are exercise bands. But the other thing is a plug... Yeah, because this is Bally's. Yeah, I'm gonna say exercise bands. <laughs> what else in here? Some green fuzzy dice. Actually, not too dirty right now. Maybe I can throw them in the washer and make them better. There's a candle ish. There's a watch. We always love our watches. Um, I can't read it. I'll put it next to my coin right there. But it looks like United States Air Force. Kind of from what I'm seeing from far away. Phone cover, no phone. And uh Yeah, this uh, there's like a cork in it. So that's weird. <laughs> and then there's uh, one of these. Looks like a bottom to a flashlight. I don't see the top to the flashlight. Is there anything else in here? That. That. And I'll leave it over there. Next. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe this is cool. Alrighty. Not cool. Good thing I don't get paid to be doing YouTube because that would definitely cost me. All right, this is uh, still as bad, but I think still legal. It is a miniature hookah. Hookah, 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 hookah. Okay, um, we're going to put Mrs. Hookah back in the box there. 
Yeah, and uh, try to not have Mrs. Schuster's look at that. Oop, get all that uh, oregano off of there. All right, back to the good stuff. Um, we have this Galanza microwave. Never heard of the brand. And uh, yeah, needs a little cleaning. <laughs> needs a lot of cleaning. Weird, weird Galanza, Galanza. Yeah, never heard of it. All right, next thing is, well, well, let's do this weed whackery thing. Here we go. That's kind of cool. It's uh, an electric weed whacker. Has a, a lithium battery on here, Black & Decker. Uh, maybe we have the charger here somewhere, I don't know. Then again, maybe not. Uh, yeah, but got the battery. I actually had this charger the other day at the flea market. Should have kept it. Um, having duct tape on your weed whacker, not normally a good sign. Um, battery's dead currently, but it's a really, it's a, it's a unique thing. Yeah, you don't see those every day, at least we don't. All right, next we'll get into this one. This is a nice little uh, basket -y thingy. Oops, got some sunflowers, summer's bloom. I thought I was going to say summer's eve. Ooh, here's some pliers or clippers or clippers or something. Some special... Yeah, those don't line up anymore. Okay, those are bad. Uh, dog nail clippers. Know what those are? Uh, little off-roader thingy. Oh, there ain't no money in the money box. There is a key, however. And, uh, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to find out what you're hiding on your, your memory card, people. We're not going to share with the world, but we are going to find out. So, anyway, little box. This is kind of cool. Got little drawers. Over tan and metal, or uh, at least baskety. Uh, some of the back, the backs of them, are not the most spectacular shape, but it is the back of them. So maybe somebody will still buy it. We'll take it to the flea market and uh, try and get some money for it. Next item is uh, looks like home decor, kind of, sort of. All right. I want to be a cowboy. All right, we got that one, and then we've got, uh, uh, we have this one that you can't see because it's personal pictures on it. And then we've got, uh, this thing is a clock. Mm, turn it around, right? Anyway, it is a deer, it's a deer clock. Deer clock, tell me what time it is. There you go. And uh, it's a more poisonal pictures. And uh, the pocket fisherman. Yeah, it's one of them uh, telescopic fishing pole thingies. There's a Carhartt? No. Costa? Costa? Right? What is that? I will find out. Costa. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh, one of those. And then we've got a dash cam I, I have no idea what that is some kind of controller for something what else is in the bag here we got a wrenches and yeah really nasty tools there and uh, we got a drill bit here and then we got a nice freezer bag and then we got this pouch I'm gonna open it off camera just in case oh no it's not bad okay uh, we've got some patches. Got some patches. Uh, yeah, got uh, different uh, patches for different things here. Softball, dispatcher, something, something. I don't know. I'll uh, have to look them up and uh, see if there's any any type of value there. Um, yeah. All right. Next one. Uh, this one looks like kitcheny stuff or kitchen bathroom stuff this sounds like nail polish and it is nail polish and there is a mirror that's actually that's actually a decent mirror that will sell to somebody i know it will um this is dog stuff Ugh. here's some little soap dispensers that looks like it's like a lifeguard station thing. 
kind of thing. All right, here's the first aid kit in extreme. All right, we'll probably keep that. Here's a plug for something, we'll keep that. There's some bathroom rugs, those will be trash. Here's some more bathroomy stuff and a blood pressure monitor. More soap dispensers and things and stupid things and more stupid things and things we don't need for the bathroom. And here's the scale I definitely don't want to see. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for that stuff. Well, the first aid kit. And uh, Mr. Mirror is probably pretty good. Uh, the other one that we got was this white basket out here. I had to move it over here. I saw some ants were crawling on it, so I'm a little, little, just a little leery of what was in there. But it looks like there's a, here's one of them humidifiers, dehumidifiers. It's either a humidifying thingy or an unhumidifying thingy. Anyway, uh, we got some cleaning supplies in here. You know, toilet stuff and a uh, little bit of little bit of palm olive. Yeah, got bugs flying in my face. Uh, some foaming cleansing stuff and some yeah, some other bathroomy stuff and cleaning stuff, foaming stuff and unfoaming stuff. And, ooh, shea butter and almond. Mmm, that sounds tasty. All right, uh, next one down in here. We've got this. Let me tear it open. Okay, we're trying to tear it open. It's a, it's a shower head. Huh. Um, yeah, it's one of them shower head adjustable sprayer Fuji thingies. Doesn't have a name brand on it. it actually looks kind of new. I mean, the hoses have plastic still on them. All right, we will investigate that. And uh, then this one. Oh, this one here looks like the one that the ants were after. Let's see what they were after here. All right, we. All right, we got some miracle sponges, magic sponges, Mr. Clean sponges, whatever. Oven cleaner. We were just looking for that too. Thank you, Lord. You uh, knew what we needed. Some kitchen cleaner. Crystal lye drain opener. I uh, didn't need that, but yeah, okay. And uh, stained mildew blocker. Interesting stuff there. And then this looks like bleach, and it is. And then we've got a cool white basket. Ta-da! A lot of cleaning supplies. All right. This is the reason we bought this particular unit was because I saw these two uh, window ACs in there. Uh, we can normally clean these up and test them, and if they work, uh, we can get 100 to 150, well, 100 to 125 for them for use. This one doesn't have uh, the window expanding thingies on it, but still, 100 bucks, 125 bucks, uh, decent, decent money if I can get it. <laughs> and I will try. All right, we'll go through this box and then we'll check on our time. All right, what do we got in here? Ooh, we got some camouflagey looking stuff and uh, and some other stuff. Oh, let me get the box out of the way. First thing, we've got a swivel hasp. Yay! All right, this is uh, looks like a car or car seat cover, right? Seat cover for a car or maybe actually for a chair. I don't even know. All right. We'll investigate. And here's more pieces. Yeah, it's got to be like a car seat. Car seat covers. And the headrest. Mossy oak, but no knifey in there. There's another headrest, another headrest, another headrest. I'm hoping in one of these will have a paper on it that I can read. Side airbag. Yeah, for figuring out which vehicle this goes to, because that's a lot of a lot of camo <laughs> to go to waste. All right, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down here, me and me and the ants, uh, so I can get into this box. It looks like some good stuff in here. Well, it looks like stuff. I don't know. Don't know about good yet. All right, Sheffield. It's a miniature. A miniature pickaxe hammer. Huh, that's kind of cool. 
no doubt, no doubt. All right, there's a camera, a miniature camera. All right, it's got a. Huh. Wonder if this is one of like dash cam things. Uh, maybe so. I mean, I see dash cam like boxes in here. Maybe, maybe that's what this is. Um, that's always good. Yeah, it's a nice slug. Some pieces of tools in there. All right, let's keep all this together because I don't want to lose none of these interesting things out of there. Let's see what else is in there. Okay, we got uh, one of these uh, radar detector. Maybe. Um. Yeah, you might be able to read it better than me. I'll put it in the box for now. All right, we've got uh, got a transformery thingy and a piece of copper wire. <laughs> All right, we got a box that has nothing in it. Uh, we got more of that stuff. All right, we've got a, a leapfrog pad thing. Okay, we got a we got some wires and screws and stuff in a box and a, and a thing and a thing and some brackets. So it's some kind of dash kit parts pieces right all right who, who knows i don't know oh i do like that that's a nice one that's a mag light yeah and there's no bulb in it but that is a mag light yeah all right here's a good little light looking thing and the wires cut off of it so that ain't no fun here's one of the br camera thingies right dash cam Dash cam? I don't know. So this has got to be parts of all this stuff. The amp kit, empty. Oops, sorry, I had an ant on me. Oops, had an ant on me. Uh, I do have the ants crawling today. All right, here's a hammer. Yep, you know it. Hammer time. And uh, here's a drill or something. What is this? So no, it's an air compressor -y gizmo. Takes a battery. Ooh, there's a lighter in there. It feels kind of heavy, even though it's a lighter. <laughs> okay, um, we got that. Oh, wow, I found a knife and a, and a watch. All right, we found a watch that says, this says it's upside down. It says, yeah, whatever that says. Okay, one of my glasses on. This looks cool. It's a knife. And it's got like a car on it, right? Uh, 70 and a half Camaro. Okay. And, uh, oh. That appears to be what this box is, is for the knife. Wow, okay. All right, what else? Let me show you in the box. All right, we've got, uh, got a hanger. We got uh, wires and, and wires. And I got gnats flying around everywhere. I don't know what all this stuff is. It looks like a dash mounting stuff or like a stereo. Here's some wires and cables and stuff. and. Here's another electronic gizmo something, leapfroggy or something. All right, here's some spray. Black ice. I don't know what that is. I think it's car smelly or something. All right, we got some patches. We got some more wires. We got some more toolies and some more tools. And here's another tool. Yay. And, uh, yeah, don't know. Mounting kit. Ooh, here's a bag of Crown Royally, and it's got some, uh, it's got pieces, parts of compressor parts, and some more tools, and a stapler. That's kind of weird, and some nuts. Got my nuts in a bag. All right, there's one of those. There's one of those. Um, oh, well, that's going to be, uh, yeah, one of those. And, uh, know, what else we got in here? Oh, here's a little multi-tool thingy of some sort. I don't know. I'll look it up. There's a little knife, some drill bits, and some stuff, some stuff. Look at that. And this uh, Troy Boilt, Troy Built Synthetic Oil. Oh, that's the additive for the gasoline to make it in there. That's kind of cool. Having a little pouch. Air pressure monitor. And uh, yeah, let's get back in here. Deeper, deeper, deeper in there, and in there, and in there. 
and uh, yeah all right that will do it we uh, found a few interesting things for I mean only really looking at the uh, or looking at the unit for the AC units we found quite a few other items that could bring us some money and some stuff that we should probably call the police about <laughs> uh, money box was empty unfortunately we do got you know a couple cool interesting items first aid kit probably keep that knife got to be good for that uh, but we're gonna move on and uh, we'll uh, do a video two or a part two for this video series just to keep you guys into it so please like share subscribe comment all that good stuff and as always we will talk to you later